So I've been wanting to make a really quick video about something that I purchased, but I was on the fence because it's the pre-order for the Framework desktop, and obviously a pre-order is something that you have to wait a while to get, and I normally like to do videos on tangible objects that I have in front of me and can interact with. However, this thing is really cool, and I bought it specifically for some AI tasks, so I kind of just wanted to do a video about it and connect with perhaps others who have also purchased it in hoping to actually use it for local LLMs or other AI tasks. So I want to talk about the performance of this in terms of perhaps other options we have, such as dedicated video cards or maybe not as much Apple Silicon because Apple Silicon, of course, is extremely fast, but one, it would be more expensive to get a comparable spec system in terms of the actual amount of video memory that you would have available. And two, you are limited to running Mac OS, which I personally use Mac every day and have since 2007. So I love the operating system. However, when it comes to actually doing local AI stuff, I massively prefer being able to just use Ubuntu. And that is a big draw of this for me. On top of that, in Ubuntu, you will actually be able to use up to, I think, 111 or 112 gigabytes of RAM for VRAM, quote unquote, which basically means that's how much RAM you will have available to use to run LLMs, which is really exciting. When it comes down to the actual, perhaps more performance specifications of this and things like memory bus and memory bandwidth, it is perhaps slower than having a state-of-the-art NVIDIA card. However, there is a trade-off to be made for efficiency. And that is something I was really excited by with this, is that it's not going to take up a lot of power comparatively to something behind me like that big desktop, which has a 1,500-watt power supply in it and two 450-watt max draw cards. So this is something that might be a little slower and less performant than a hardcore dedicated multi-GPU system. But on the other side of that coin, it is going to sip power comparatively. It's going to be quiet and it's probably just going to be nicer to actually have in your room while you're using it for AI tasks than some gigantic behemoth. I quickly want to just go over the actual specifications that I ordered with this. And truth be told, I was kind of like... <laughs> I'd been up for a long time when this got released and I was very excited. So I may have just kind of gone down and sequentially checked off a lot of the options that perhaps I don't necessarily need. But first and foremost, the important spec that I purchased and that I think of a lot of other folks who are going to want this for AI will likely have purchased is the top memory configuration or the top end one, which has the Ryzen AI Max Plus 395, of course, with the 128 gigabytes of memory. For storage, I just got something but again I will probably end up adding my own storage into this in some way as a lot of local models are very large in size um, especially for ones that will actually be able to be run on this which are larger so I just got a generic 500 gig NVMe from WD I did actually go with the Noctua fan for this which is the kind of cool tan and brown looking fan however I did also get the translucent left panel and I'm now wondering if perhaps that would look better with an RGB fan so I may end up perhaps swapping that or I might just get another fan later on so I can kind of pick something unique or funky. Following that, for the expansion cards, which actually are the little ones that go down here, I will perhaps just kind of show that real quick because it is kind of cool. So the expansion cards can actually be removed and swapped out and are the things right here. So we can see that this is a USB-C expansion card and then this is just a USB-A, I think it's called, expansion card. So. That is what we see here with the expansion cards. I got a USB-C, a USB-A, a micro SD, an Ethernet, <laughs> an SD, an audio, and then a 250 gigabyte expansion card. And from my understanding of that, I think it's just almost like a little like flash drive style thing you can have in there for additional, perhaps removable storage, which is actually quite neat in my opinion. And then finally, of course, the accessories are the included screwdriver, which allows you to put the system together to whatever extent you're actually going to need to do that. But that is my specific build that I purchased for this. So I just kind of wanted to share that, I suppose, because uh, it seemed like the correct thing to do in making a video of the pre-order of this. But again, I really now just want to talk about the actual use cases I have in mind for this and perhaps some of the pros and cons of going to an AMD ecosystem machine for AI tasks in general. Now on my channel, I like to try a lot of experimental repositories as well, which a lot of times are things like video generation models and 
kind of that sort of area. I don't believe that this will be of any use for me in actually trying those experimental models because a lot of the cool ones that are coming out are reliant upon the NVIDIA ecosystem. So I am kind of just not even expecting to be able to use this for trying, for example, Alibaba's one video model or something like that. However, the real excitement that I am like gaining from this is that I want to use it to run multiple little instances of very small language models, like even Llama 3.2 1B or 3B. I don't actually know how many of those I can run at the same time. You may think like, wouldn't that just be limited by the available amount of video memory? And I don't think that is the case. I do believe there would be other kind of computational bottlenecks in how many concurrent instances of LLMs running you could have at the same time. But the real reason I actually am interested in that is because a lot of some of the things I like to work on that I don't really post on the channel are Unity or indie games where each of the NPCs have their own personas given to them by AI. So I think it would actually be really exciting and fun to have this system where I could have an individual tiny LLM running for each NPC. I know that may seem perhaps counterintuitive and odd when you could just kind of prompt the same LLM for a different NPC's persona, but I do have some perhaps unique ideas that I want to do with this, and being able to run a bunch of tiny 1 billion or 2 billion or 3 billion parameter LLMs at the same time will really allow me to experiment a lot with some of the Unity game and things like that ideas that I have and like to make. The other thing that I am really interested in this for is actually for agentic tasks. Now, a lot of the agentic models that I've played with, like most recently it was Microsoft's Omni Parser and then Omni Tool and Omni Box. If you want to run them locally, they need pretty beefy vision models. So I am actually hoping that I'll be able to run a quant of some Quen 2.5 VL72B on this, which I otherwise right now cannot even run, even with the dual 3090 system behind me. So I am actually really excited for this in terms of its ability to hold larger VLMs or vision language models. And I don't actually have a lot of research or pertinent knowledge on getting those working on AMD or things like that. However, that is something I'm going to be exploring more. And again, I really think that this will allow a lot of cool local agentic solutions to be functioning. And on top of that, when it comes to actually having agents like that and autonomously performing ones, being able to have a system that will run them quietly and power efficiently opens up a lot of possibilities in my opinion. I have actually originally built the dual 3060 12 gig system you've seen on my channel to run AI agentic tasks 24 7 but to have this to actually do that is extremely exciting to me and something that I think is an unexplored area of interest for these big unified memory systems in general so I'm really excited for that. And even if it's just having like an AI go on and like troll around using Omni Parser playing RuneScape and just doing gibberish, regardless of what it is, being able to run that for long periods of time, power efficiently and quietly is something that excites me a ton and is probably one of the first things I'm going to jump right into and do when I get this system. So other than that, that's really going to conclude it. Again, I don't want to just go over every specific specification of this as I saw a lot of videos that were like that and I wanted to just kind of more pivot this for my specific AI related use cases for this system and to perhaps connect with other folks who have purchased it for the same reasons and see if we can like bounce ideas off each other or share perhaps pertinent knowledge about using AMD's ecosystem for some local LLM tasks and things like that. As this is my first foray into using any of their backends or software stacks for running AI. I know obviously it is nowhere near as mature as NVIDIA and with things like Project Digits coming out that is also something to consider and be excited for but when I saw this I wanted to jump on it because it really meshed with me and I think I'll be able to put this to good use regardless of what I end up like doing with it. So that is really going to conclude the video. You can see here, you could stack a few of them if you wanted to run like uh, the full DeepSeek, but I 
probably <laughs> won't be doing that. So there are a lot of cool possibilities and they do sell the main board by itself, which is actually what you see here in this cluster. So it's cool. I'm excited about this and I'm hoping to see other folks who are also purchasing it for similar reasons and seeing what they intend to do with it. So that's going to wrap it up and thanks for watching.